What's up guys, this is the Rifleman and I am back to bring you the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as Denmark. So to run off where we left off, I realised Calcutta had no defences, so even though they have four units of mortars, the rest of the units are chaff and will not stand on the battlefield. So without further ado, let's attack and we'll take the last territory to the east from the front lines to move to be moved up easily. Um, to be honest, I think I'm like one of the armies that stays in the, in India, ready to respond to potential counter invasion. The best idea, because the other armies are more elite and they have better units. Oh god damn, so there's not going to be any... Wait a minute, I say that, I can deploy on this really handy flank position. Okay, let's deploy these guys and let's put some... Some units gonna they're gonna deploy rapidly to protect them. But my main battle line is gonna come from the front. Cover on the right. Let's get them together like that. Let's put one howitzer down here to support the main advance. General the centre. First thing I want to do I anticipate them potentially being more being more at threat than that. Yep, their counter battery has begun. So let's run our infantry. Halt fire. I wanted to halt fire so they didn't friendly fire too many of my own men. Speed up time a little bit. Fire will. Boom, 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 boom. So these traps on the flank may actually be at threat. They are getting some hits on the mortars, but to be honest, they may as well not bother. Hit the units on the field. Yeah, made one unit of mortars route. There we go. First, first musket battle going ahead. And they're falling back because they're pushing up in peace, mate. Push both my cavalry units up around the flank. I'd like them to I'd like to move these guys, but there's no one really something like that maybe. Farlock Armed Infantry. Let's get one of my units of two of my units of dragoons to start knocking out the howitzer batteries. The rest I want to start picking away at these. Troops. And fire well off, damn it. Charge through. Your job isn't the howitzers. Let's get my general up and around. 
Your job is this lovely block of troops. Let's turn off. No, let's turn off firing. No, not muskets. With your guns. I was really, I'm really screwing up that one there. Sepoys are actually losing against a firelock armed populace. I think we'll speed up time a little bit because right now nothing's happening apart from the delightful slaughter of enemy troops. Not trying to wipe units out, we're just trying to massacre them. There you go, now they've got some backup. We do have a unit back here, might cause us some problems, maybe. I'd say most of the enemy will get to flee the field, but it does not mean they get to live. Let's bring our general down to help support this melee. And let's speed up time some more, because these are the only guys left. There they go. Nice. So, we've secured a major base on our eastern flank. Send cavalry unit to Calcutta to boost the boot the port, boot ships out to sea. Let's get my ships in. Let's get everyone upgraded or repaired. Then let's see what we can do. College. Bonk. Let's upgrade the rice paddies, upgrade the tea plantation, upgrade the port. Upgrade the infrastructure inside. Upgrade the spice warehouse, build a church school. Good stuff. So now we've actually got a good base from which to start spitting out ships to send to trade. So build a privateer. We need to start boosting our boosting our trade presence in other theatres. It's got a strong presence in the East Indies. Well, strongish. I'd like it to be stronger. <laughs> Troops still Forming up in position. Then we take Idapur. Take it. Take Ud Idapur. Udaipur with this army under Conrad, and then he's going to head west and hit Narun. Or at least he's going to form up on a position ready to advance towards Narun. While we finish off Lahore and Sringa Srinagar. Sweet. Can I also tax you now? I might just give it just a little bit. Sweet. Let's hit in turn. There go our agents. There come the reinforcements. So I could ferry them across the straits, but to be honest, there's no real rush. I'm not 
is it, I'm gonna, this is going to be a few turns yet before I declare war on Russia. Even then, I'm not, de not declaring on Russia, I'm declaring on Dagestan, and Russia might not even get involved. See, if I, it's tempting to ally with them because it will cause a problem <laughs> with Russia. Because it's will they stick with me and my mix of allies. Oh, go on then. Just because There we go. So, <laughs> the Ottomans haven't crashed my game for a few turns now. Or for, for a while in terms of gameplay and recording. But, you know, it's that once being twice shy thing. I don't know if I want to risk it. <laughs> the Portuguese armies are on the march. See, at some point to be conscious the Greek navy might just suddenly turn on me. There is a clamour for reform in this region due to the spreading of enlightened ideas through... Not anymore, there's a nut. Sweets. I mean, what's the top level? Oh, here's Grand Opera House. Okay, let's get my agent to... What does he need to infiltrate Mysore? Let's send him up to Persia. It's going to take him a while. College Divinity, so this guy's going to start really cranking down that religious unrest and start increase, improving my populations of Protestants. So you go there, and you go there. Let's just get the privateer over to the Indias. You're regrouping with your artillery. Upgrade the church school, repair the plantation here. And let's recruit a beefy howitzer unit to support you. Awesome. So I want to recruit I want to recruit a navy that will patrol the East Indies to make sure it's safe and as necessary rotate it in with the rest of my ships. So I'm building another shipyard somewhere, or I've got one somewhere. I'm sure I had another shipyard, but they all seem to be commercial. Oh well. So let's upgrade Satara's port. Actually no, let's not do that yet. So let's increase the strength of this fleet. So there's a fourth, but we've out We've outgrown fourths. Two seconds and two thirds. But nowhere hasn't outgrown fourths though. India. Ship them out. The navy's here and is here in good strength. Let's put a war galleon to get to get ready to go ship it over to India as well. Well I mean don't crash right into the back of the Russian navy then. Or the Greek Navy. I mean, it's pretty weak. Workers were on strike in Bengal. Now they don't care, because they have no school. Okay, so. I want to build a fleet. So they can easily hop to the East Indies and back. And also clear them off of their spots. To clear potential enemies off of their trade nodes. Yeah, the privateers moved up, you guys have moved up. You guys are replenishing, but I'm gonna go steal 
Two units of fusiliers. Actually, let's steal two of the weaker units of fusiliers. The next turn, they'll push up and attack. Let's move these fusiliers back to Hyderabad. It seems to be where I dump all my units that I have no real use for. Uh, you could. Oh, this army could do with some cash spending on it. But let's go take Malwa. Because right now we've been blitzing through. We've been blitzing through um, Mughal territory. Oh, shit. Oh, God. <laughs> I. Oh. I absolutely did not mean to auto that. Well, you know how often I swear. Oh, God damn it. I did not mean to do that. Oh, did not mean to do that at all. Sorry, guys, and apologies for the language. God damn it. God damn it. so ready to in my brain. <sighs> Don't know why, I just thought that was the but. I just thought, ha! Huh, middle but Main, middle. That's what happens when you don't think. You do stupid things like that. Dang nabbit. <laughs> well, at least I didn't say anything worse. <laughs> oh... Well, we're definitely going to have another battle before this part's over, so don't think I've made you to sit out so you've not got to see the attack of Malware, the assault of Mysore, which I think, I think it balances out. <laughs> Especially when their city is a city full of melee troops. Bring up the, bring up the howitzers. So last time, the Ottomans didn't ruin my game. And they haven't this time. Sweet. They're bringing up reinforcements to try and protect their poor little city. There is a port in this region that has not yet been. Yep. Just buy it. Fleet arrives. So let's send my private here to go have a look who's holding these other spots. Portugal. No one's got this one. No, they do. It's Courland. And I think, does the Mughal Empire have this one? They do. It's fifth rate, so you guys go join them. Lots of tradable goods. Let's upgrade you to a trade port. Because I've already got a dockyard. Yep, there it is. A new port emerges in Cuba, which we've just upgraded. Our boss controller of works. Awesome. Let's build the engineer school just to make sure we keep going down the tree. Although actually we don't need to really. For completionist's sake. Two turns to we get shrapnel. Shrapnel shot, which is fabulous. So if I move you out, that's okay. I don't know why I just drifted and went, aha, we will fight this battle. Bang! But no. Maintain siege for now. Let's upgrade tea plantations. Then let's leave some to do some key upgrades. Well, no, if I get my spy, there's a chance they'll up the, get the gates open, which will be that much more handy. Oh no, they didn't get they got spotted. Okie dokie, so Mysore, protector of Dagestan. Well, let's see. Well, this might. This is it. <laughs> my. My silliness. My silliness may now have resulted in war with Russia. 
but we're going to do it. I mean, this front's open, but there's not really anything they can do up here. I'll also take this army. Drive up to the... Oh, nope, not yet. Just drive up to there, just to cover the territory. So then you... Declare war! Dagestan has joined them. So I just want to quickly check what that means. Are we at war with Russia? Nope. Still allies. Sweet. So now we've got, we've got license to push up now uncontested all the way up to Baghdad. I'll probably do some... We're taking Narun, I'll probably start doing some amphibious landings to move my troops up a bit quicker to take Zahedan and Esfahan. Awesome, let's take them out. We don't mills. Nah, you're too easy with all those howitzers. Let's do it. Let's take out Mysore. As for being dumb. <laughs> Even as though I, um... I, uh... Oh, you know... <laughs> oh, whoops, my finger slit. Oh, this difficult fight. It wasn't a difficult fight, not at all. <sighs> when you don't think and your brain just starts going on autopilot. Yeesh. Faction. Oh yes. So let's drop two guns here. Two guns here. Two batteries. Actually deploy my houses to the side. Just just so there's no bouncing shots, they don't take out a bunch of my men. So let's get our assault divisions ready. Just a bit behind the hill. Our heavy cavalry, our general, and our remaining line infantry. Get ready. Blow a hole in the line, in the wall, blow a hole in the wall. You guys hit that block in the centre. No, why have you shot it there? Wait, well, look at this for a target. God, these walls are poorly made. Opening salvo, they're already at 50%. To be fair, my howitzers did also shoot at them. Oh, yeah. Fantastic. Good. Okay, we're getting some good shots. See, I could switch to quick climb and hit it here and just go plah and kill them all, but I don't think that'd be very fun. So let's just get ready to blow a bunch of holes in the line. Kill my mountain troops. So my hearts are still engaging. Ah. I don't want to say they're engaging the wrong things, but I want to say they're engaging the wrong things. Let's push up. Push up to the gate. And 
convinced they're not actually targeting. They're firing, but not. F they're engaging these units rather than the ones I want, the big tasty block right back here. Speed up time a bit just to see what if they fire again. Doing it again. Attack ground in the middle of this pack then. Here. Good. Now they're starting to drop shells on target. So I want to drop Oh, someone's making a bacon egg sandwich. So let's get these guys. So shoot this section of the wall down. So we've collapsed the corner, we've made a breach here. So have I got a line of tree unit? I do. Let's redeploy. Oh wow, they're charging out. Well, they're starting to. Good, at least the 38th is going to take advantage of it. focus on the gap. Come in, ready. It's dropping marines. It's dropping marines and two units of line as a hedge. Stop them from interrupting my attack. Drop a line infantry guards in front of the gate. Everyone else. Capture a section of wall. Too bad they're going to run out the gate and attack my troops, but I'd like... Hopefully before they get to open the gate, I run over and take it. Starting to send their troops out. And you guys go here, take the gatehouse. Green's gone blank, and it's back. Put our line infantry guards in. Okay, let's send these guys in. First units, storm the breach. Charge my guard infantry and hit the first unit of dervishes. Yeah, they might, they should spread out to climb up by the ropes. Good. Okay, 
good. Feed in the next unit of line. This gate's ours, so let's get our fusiliers up, ready to move, fire them off. Oh wow, these guys are gonna fire down into the breach, fire down into the gate, potentially killing lots of our own men. It's gonna look hella cool. Present. Fire! Turn our line infantry up. off because you're actually doing them. the numbers have swung in our favour so much that they may actually do more damage whereas now they're going to charge down off of the slope Gabe's the horseman if you please Smash through the gates because you've got a clear run. You go secure the armory. The light troops go secure the other armory. Let's turn off our artillery because they're actually doing more harm than good at the minute. Let's get these marines down to support the 52nd. units up so they're, they're a bit more focused on who they shoot. Charge these guys down. Come on. There's my charging in single file. targeting people in the, f in the uh, centre, but they are not. Can you even shoot at them in that range? This doesn't seem like it. The fact that they had fire will off might have something to do with it. down those last two horsemen. The general's been killed. Charging my fusiliers. This is their prerogative. But I fear it will be their last. Fusilier unit, charge on, take the guns. Just get into position.
Bowman have finally started realising that we're here. Oh god damn! Forgot about the reinforcements, but it will matter not. It's one fierce Indian defender. These are Fusilier's mine, so Fusilier versus Gun, gun Crew is actually good. Oh! That's enough of that. Whoa. Oh, so. But let's get our troops in position ready. If they do decide, or well, if they manage to make it to the uh, to the walls before okay, let's do So the, the leading elements will actually make it. Including their elephants. Get at the running troops. Artillery to hit the elephants. God, look at that! The cannibal zipped straight through and killed so many men. No alternative. They either stay outside the breach or they die outside. Nah, we're not actually taking it. Lines behind aren't to shoot, they are just to be ready. He says, and one immediately shoots. So just ignore the reinforcements. Remember their bows. In case they try anything fancy. But I don't think they will. Ah, it's too late now for you to spread out. You think my artillery doesn't know where you are. One unit bowman. Stoically manning the rammer. Heroic victory. Good capture of my soul. Yeah, hopefully that somewhat makes up for a lacklustre fanded moment <laughs> near, uh, near Malwa. So yeah, they hate us, so let's turn this off and where's your school? Traditional university. That'll go a long ways cheering you up. Almost entirely, in fact. Sweet, so then this army is going to sail to Bacalor. And I might. Well, he's not going to sail to Bacalor, he's going to sit there and wait. 
and then he will be taken in due course and landed off the coast of Persia. Sweet, and because you know how I like ending my parts on things. Um, let's do uh, mortar siege. But we've got loads of troops. No, don't like mortars. <laughs> Not that one yet. Let's end the part preparing for the siege of Udaipur. So, thanks for watching guys, hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.